Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Baking Diva. And to all my new subscribers, my name is Dolores and my channel is all about baking, all kinds of baking. And I throw in a little bit extra there, just for good measure and to make the channel fun and interesting. I don't usually do hauls on my channel. I have been known to do a few. I love home goods and Dollar Tree and the Christmas tree shop, but I don't do many hauls. And this was gonna be my first one. And what happened? It was a flop, a one big fat <laughs> flop. Because we all know that everyone is pretty much in a state of pandemonium right now. Um, the World Health Organization just uh, declared this morning that the coronavirus is now a worldwide pandemic. And it's nothing to joke about, even though my thumbnail I thought was just cute and fun with uh, the actor there, instead of saying that famous line, show me the money, I put, show me the toilet paper. It's just my sense of humor. It was all in good fun. But anyway, um, that was from the movie, Jerry Maguire, that starred Tom Cruise, and I think it was uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. And who was the girl in that? Oh, Renee Zellweger. She was in that too. I love that movie, but show me the money. Well, I felt like it was like, show me the toilet paper. I know um, that everybody is in quite a panic right now throughout the world. My heart and prayers go out to everyone. But um, the, how shall I say, the fear in everyone running to the stores to buy the hand sanitizer and the paper towels and and tissues and toilet paper is unbelievable. And I probably wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. I'm just gonna throw in a couple of very short videos I took the other day when my eyes went like this, what? And, and I spoke to the um, salesperson in one of the stores who was putting some things out on the shelf. And he said to me, if you want anything, grab it now out of the box because the minute I put it on the shelf, it's gonna be gone. And that's pretty much what happened. So I don't even have a haul to show you today because I was fortunate. I was able to get one package <laughs> of toilet paper, no hand sanitizer whatsoever, no bleach, um, a few paper towels, but they were pretty much out of everything. And it wasn't just this one particular store. It was all the stores. I sent my husband up to the food store the other day to see what he could get and zero, nothing. Um, it's crazy. It's really crazy. So what I was also going to show you on this video was how you could make your own hand sanitizer. And I'm going to put the recipe in my video, but let me tell you, I can't even show you how to do it because it involves alcohol, that's rubbing alcohol, and aloe vera, and guess what? Wait for it, wait for it. The stores are out of that too. So I don't even know how people are gonna make their own. I heard on the news a couple of days ago that New York State is going to be making their own hand sanitizer. I think they said I think the inmates in one of the jails are going to be making them. So it's all pretty bad and it's nothing to joke about. But I am going to put in um, my clip, in my video, a couple of the pictures I took of the empty shelves in the stores. And I do want to insert for you um, the recipe for making your own hand sanitizer. So I decided to take a little trip to Walmart today to see what all the hoopla was about. This 
far as toilet paper and hand sanitizer and etc. So let me take you in the store and show you what I found. And really? These are the shelves where the toilet paper and the hand sign sanitizers are. I thought I'd be able to pick up something today, but I guess oh, not. No, no, this, oh, this could easily... People are going crazy. As soon as um, they're putting the stock out, people are grabbing it off the shelves. It's insane in here. <laughs> Look at these people, they're like, oh my goodness. Crazy. Okay now, this is the toilet paper aisle. There's no toilet paper either. This is crazy. Here I am at another aisle. Well, you can see most of that stuff is gone too. The bathroom cleaners, etc. I see some Clorox bathroom cleaner. There's a couple of lonely ones on the shelf. <laughs> I think I'm going to pick up one of those. Ay, ay, ay. I was just talking to some people and they said Costco is out of everything. And as soon as Walmart puts something on the shelf, it's gone. I was looking for some bleach. They have no bleach either. I've just never seen anything like this. Maybe I better grab another one of these. Okay, well here's the aisle where the hand sanitizers are. This is absolutely crazy. Um, I think we just all have to try our best to keep calm, be proactive, uh, do what they're telling you to do. Um, I've heard people say, oh, I don't care when my time's up, my time's up. Well. No, I don't think that way. I mean, maybe to a degree, but I guess you can fight it every step of the way. So what they're telling us is they're telling us to be proactive. Wash your hands. And I heard Dr. Oz say the other day on one of the news stations, he said, when you wash your hands and you put the soap on there, don't do this. He said, do what the surgeons do. Clamp your hands together and wash them like this, he said, because you want to get your fingernails and the tips of your fingers clean. Because usually when you touch your face, that's what you touch it with. And um, he also said the thumbs. Hook your thumbs together and rub them. And he said, do it for, I think he said 20 seconds. But they had some good tips on there. Uh, interesting tips. He said this is how the surgeons wash their hands, by doing this. Not this, this. Um, so anyway, uh, wash your hands and wash them properly. Uh, stay out of big crowds. You see that they're canceling a lot of things now. Um, and it's more serious, the fatalities for people that are, I think, over 60 and Yep, that's me. So I don't plan on going into any big crowds anytime soon. Uh, they're also telling you to uh, consider possibly canceling your trips or not taking certain trips. I mean, it makes sense to me. So they're really just all telling you to pay attention um, and try not to freak out, so to speak and uh, just try to protect yourself whenever you can. So, sorry, I don't have much of a, a haul. There was my roll of paper towels. There was, I think, a package or two left of toilet paper and no bleach. I was looking for bleach. And they had one, you'll see it on the shelf, one lonely, I think it was a Clorox spray bottle of bathroom cleaner. So I figured it's better than nothing. Let me take that one too. So anyway, everyone be safe out there. Um, I'm gonna show you in a second 
um, how to make your hand sanitizer. Since I don't have the ingredients, I can't physically show you, but I'm going to put the steps on the screen for you. You can always take screenshots of those if you like. So that's my zero haul for today. Um, I hope things won't be as bad as they're predicting, but I think this is gonna go on for a little while. I know I get a little bit crazy when I go into supermarkets. I never used to think too much about it, but now when I grab a cart and I put my hand on the cart to push it, I'm always thinking twice, who is just touching that cart with their hands? So I will be spraying my carts <laughs> when I go to the food store. Um, be proactive so we can keep ourselves safe. So let's all pray for one another. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Please go down below and hit that red subscribe and the little bell next to it. When you hit that bell, I think you might have to hit it twice till it says all. It's free. And every time I put a video up, you'll get um, a notification and you won't miss anything. So anyway, I love you all. I look forward to seeing you soon. Stay well, stay safe. And for now, toodles.